The DNA in a cell's nucleus is a permanent repository of genetic information. To create proteins from the code in DNA, the cell performs a two-step process of information flow. In the first step, transcription, the DNA is copied into messenger RNA or mRNA. The mRNA serves as a temporary information carrier, transporting the code from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. The second step is protein synthesis or translation, which takes place inside a ribosome. A ribosome is a large complex of protein and ribosomal RNA or rRNA. In this step, two subunits of the ribosome associate with the mRNA. The ribosome translates the code of nucleotides in the mRNA into the sequence of amino acids in a protein. The discovery of this flow of information from DNA to RNA to protein was one of the great scientific advances of the 20th century. Here, we focus on the events of translation. Although many other protein factors also have roles in this process, the main players in translation are the mRNA molecule, the two subunits of a ribosome, and a pool of molecules called transfer RNAs or tRNAs. Each tRNA is attached to a specific amino acid and is therefore called an amino acyl tRNA. Translation occurs in three stages, initiation, elongation, and termination. The initiation stage begins when an mRNA molecule and the small subunit of the ribosome associate. In eukaryotes, the small subunit binds to a chemical group on the mRNA called the 5' prime cap. It then slides to the first AUG sequence, which is the start codon in the mRNA. Next, an amino acyl tRNA binds to the AUG triplet. This tRNA contains a complementary triplet, the anticodon, that forms hydrogen bonds with the bases in the start codon. The start codon codes for the amino acid methionine, abbreviated as MET. The large ribosomal subunit then joins the complex, completing the initiation stage of translation. The ribosome builds the protein during the elongation stage. An amino acyl tRNA occupies the middle position called the P-site for peptidyl. The tRNA at this site holds the growing polypeptide chain. The A-site holds the new amino acyl tRNAs that enter the ribosome. At the E-site, E for exit, the ribosome ejects the used tRNA, which no longer holds an amino acid. Elongation begins when a new amino acyl tRNA enters the A-site. To remain in the A site, this tRNA's anticodon must be complementary to the opposing codon in the mRNA. The large ribosomal subunit catalyzes a reaction in which the two adjacent amino acids form a covalent bond called a peptide bond. At the same time, in the P site, the bond between the tRNA and its amino acid breaks. In a process called translocation, the ribosome slides one codon down the mRNA in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. The first tRNA is ejected from the E site into the cytoplasm. The tRNA holding the peptide chain is now in the P site. The cycle of elongation repeats for each of the codons in the mRNA molecule. The last stage of translation is termination. In the genetic code, three triplets, including the UAA codon, function as stop codons and trigger the end of protein synthesis. In the cell, there is no tRNA that has an anticodon complementary to a stop codon. Instead, proteins called release factors enter the A site recognize the stop codons, and catalyze a reaction in which the polypeptide is cleaved from the adjacent tRNA. The mRNA and the two ribosomal subunits dissociate. Each component is now free for another round of protein synthesis.